And back to the story that we were talking about earlier, and that, of course, being the clashes that have occurred in Senegal between supporters of the opposition leader um, who's facing charges. Let's cross now to Dakar to speak to correspondent Sam Brapisa. Sam, the trial has been postponed, but are those clashes continuing? Well, what seems to have happened since the postponement of this trial is that the mood very much has calmed here in Dakar and in other parts of the country, where over the weekend we did see significant clashes between uh, pro Sonko supporters and the police. The ambience does seem to have cooled, as I've said, and really now it's a matter of waiting until the next trial date. I wouldn't bet against a kind of a remonté, an increase of, of tension building up to that date, simply because the case itself is very politically divisive here in Senegal. The accusations against Ousmane Sonko go back to 2021 and have created a real dividing line between his supporters and supporters of the government. Why is this trial so important, Sam? This trial is incredibly important for the political future of Senegal for a number of reasons, but the key one is that if Mr Sonko is found guilty, it seems almost certain that this will bar him from running in next year's presidential race. And at the moment, Mr Sonko is very much the main opposition figurehead in Senegal. So if he's out of the race, that does give Macky Sall a clear run at the presidency, although it's worth mentioning Macky Sall hasn't officially declared his candidacy yet. Were he to do so, he would be running for a third term in office, which many here in Senegal, uh, not just opposition supporters, but independent observers as well, view as unconstitutional. Sam Bradpiece reporting there from Dakar. Thank you.